President Biden's two-year-old German Shepherd commander has bitten another Secret Service agent. It happened Monday at the White House, and it's the 11th reported incident since last October. Wow. One of the more serious incidents resulted in a Secret Service agent being taken to the hospital. In another incident, Commander latched on to a security technician's back at President Biden's Wilmington home. Mm. Ouch. Uh, bad dog, Emily. This is such a travesty. It's what we were talking about. Um, rules for thee, not for thee. In every other jurisdiction, it's either one notice or one bite. So if your dog bites someone, he's either euthanized immediately or you're put on notice. And the second bite, then he is euthanized. And yet here, he bites people nine bites in three months or nine bites in two months, 10 in three. And then now we have the 11th and he's just simply a bad dog. This mm -hmm. again illustrates how this family is absolutely immune from any kind of accountability. Sweetheart deal for Hunter, sweetheart deal for Commander. Exactly. Uh, you had some interesting suspicions about oh, Commander. It's not a suspicion. I just made a joke during the yes, commercial you that, you know, they had Coke in the house, so. Yeah. I just never knew if he'd been to that certain lobby area, uh, just acting all out of himself. Look, this is really on the owner of the dog. Yeah. And, and I just wonder what's going on in that family that, that they don't get this dog some help. I mean, seriously. And if they can't do that, they need to move him out of the reach of people who protect them for a living. Secret right. service agents. I mean, one had to be was, hospitalized. That, that is the worst, the people who protect you. I mean, imagine yes. that. This is supposed to be the safest place on the planet, and, and you're bitten from inside by the president's dog. It's just a bad look. And they had to send Major away, too. That was their other dog. Yeah. Like, why are the Biden dogs so violent? Well, that's the question, is that dogs, they can be the most wonderful in the world, but if there is a problem, they'll react. I, wait, we have to wonder, was Biden in the room every time? Is there a vibe or a sense of vulnerability of the owner that this dog feels he needs to constantly protect? What is the environment that is causing this ex extremely unusual situation? That's the question. That has, it's bad dog, perhaps not the right training or perhaps such chaos that the dog oh, is going bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the stress of a family, what we have, we have uh, prosecutions of Hunter and an investigation into, into Joe, that stress is absorbed by your pet. And the pet is now mm -hmm. acting out, biting the Secret Service. Very simple answer. I think he's admitted to, what, 10 or 11 grandchildren? Give the dog away to one of the grandkids. Mm -hmm. Let them have the pet. Oh, I wouldn't give a dog biting. who's bitten that many people around oh, children because the kids only are Secret so Service. unpredictable, Sean. I don't think so. You would know you have 99 of them. And we don't I know do. what the Cer Ours Secret Service bite. has done to the dog. Not dogs, children. You don't know any You're of that. so funny. All I know is if you see Commander, stay <laughs> oh, clear. Anyway. Sweetheart, deal <laughs> for the dog. No wonder the football team wants to change its <laughs> name. <laughs> I'm numbered in a moment. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.